Old versus new, which one's better? Mito Red's Mito Pro 300 or the Mito Adapt Min. Now I've reviewed both of these. The Mito Pro 300 is a little bit older. The Mito Adapt over here has only been out for a few months. This one, the new one, the Adapt, does incorporate some neat new features. And as you can see, it looks totally different as well. Let me turn these lights off so you can get a better view. But there are a lot of similarities and there's also a big difference in price. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the panels across the most important metrics when it comes to buying a red light therapy panel, but I'm also gonna share something that's gonna help you even more with your buying process. So be sure to hang around for all of that. So both of these panels come from the same company. That company is Mito Red Light, American based. Uh, they have been in the market for a couple years now, maybe five or six years. Consistently good panels, especially from a value point of view, great support, and we have seen some of their larger panels take out top spots in my comparison series over the years. The older panel, the Mito Pro 300, uh, that is 11 inches high, nine inches across. The Mito Adapt, the newer panel, is slightly taller at 12 inches high, nine inches across. And what's interesting here is the older panel has 60 single chip LEDs. The new panel has 72 dual chip LEDs. That means for each lens you see here, is actually two chips in it, two diodes. So what does that mean exactly? You're gonna get better coverage of light, dispersion of light onto the body, which is great from a treatment point of view. But what Mito Red have done here is they've incorporated uh, both an, a red and a near infrared chip into each lens. And in turn, because of the way they've wired this panel, you can do some neat things with the wavelengths. And we'll talk about that shortly. So let's look at the wavelengths. The Mito Red Pro 300 here comes with four wavelengths, 630 and 660 uh, red light and 830 and 850 nanometer near infrared light. Mito Adapt, also four wavelengths. However, it's a little bit different. You're getting the same 630 and 660 red light. However, instead of 830, you're getting 810. So you're getting 810 and 850 nanometer near infrared light. I actually think this is a good move. 810 has a lot of research behind it, a lot of science behind it. Very beneficial, especially for brain health. Uh, and if you're buying one of these panels to be used as a tabletop face head treatment, that uh, 810 is going to be quite beneficial. In fact, that was one of the negatives with the Mito Pro when I reviewed that uh, some time ago. Okay, so what about power output? Now, what's interesting here is Mito Red have said that the newer one is slightly more powerful, and I guess that's because there's a few more LEDs in it. But I've found the opposite. I actually found the older one in my testing with the spectrometer was not only putting out a higher peak power reading, but also a higher average over nine different data points on the panel. So let me give you the numbers. The Mito Pro over here had an average of 53 milliwatts over centimeter squared. The new Adapt was 42 and a half milliwatts over centimeter squared. Quite a big difference, but these numbers are still great from a therapeutic dosing point of view. So you don't need to get too worried about it. From a total wattage output, even though this one had less LEDs and less diodes, less chips, it was actually putting out a similar amount of total wattage. So really from a power output, it's not necessarily more LEDs is better because this one, even with less LEDs, was putting out just the same amount of power as that. So let's look at ease of use and controls. Now this is where there is quite a big difference. The Mito Pro 300 was pretty basic in terms of functionality. A simple LCD screen, a couple of buttons, that's about it. Very old school. Uh, we saw it in the you know second generation panels that hit the market a few years ago. It's got a timer, it beeps, pretty simple stuff. There's no dimming though, there's no um, apps, there's no remote, nothing like that. But again, it works. The new Adapt over here is totally different. We now have a larger screen with a bunch of menus in there. There's a few more buttons uh, and there's also a lot more options. As well as that, there's a whole new app. Now this app is quite interesting. You have to create an account and then it syncs to the panel using Bluetooth. Of course, you can control the panel through the app so you can play around with dimming, uh, timing functions, but you can also choose what wavelengths and at what ratio you want the panel to operate at. So there's actually 11 different uh, modes built into this panel and each mode has a different ratio of a different spectrum of red light and the infrared light. It is kind of neat, does give the user a lot of options. Whether it's necessary, I'm not too sure. I do like the fact that you can reduce near infrared and or red light in panels, and that's something we have seen in a lot of panels. You can turn off red and leave the near infrared running in this panel, for instance, but this one does give you a few more options. But this panel also has the dimming functionality. Now they call it brightness. At the moment, it's operating at 100% intensity. 
and you can drop it all the way down to single digits like so which is kind of neat especially if you want a, a background light or if you simply want to do a longer treatment session and get the same amount of energy i should mention as well the app does track your usages and you're also prompt to answer some questions what might are hoping to do is to take all this data from users and be able to find some correlations between what wavelengths are used what modes are used on the panel and the results hopefully with thousands of data points in my review of this video i did share some criticisms with this feature uh, so i'll let you check that out by the way i spent a lot of time testing and reviewing these products in turn hoping that it helps you guys make an informed decision if you are finding this information useful please give me a like and also subscribe okay so what about price and now this is where it's quite interesting firstly mitre red light have given me a discount code it is code alex a l e x it will save you five percent on either of these panels i am affiliated with mitre red light so i will earn a small commission if you do use that discount code but the older panel over here sells for 332 dollars after using discount code alex the newer model $521 now what's interesting is both of the panels come with a stand it looks to be exactly the same stand I don't really like the stand how it's a different color to the panel it's not a big issue but it, it's something that does peeve me a little bit but the good thing is those stands are included as well as your standard accessories such as goggles and uh, your cables and whatnot and shipping is the same for both of these panels but that is a difference of nearly $200 between the panels. I don't know if that $200 is really worth it. So let's refresh now. You can spend $520 and get the Adapt, which has an app, which has multiple modes, which has 810 nanometer light instead of 830. It also has dual chip and a few more LEDs. It's slightly larger from a treatment point of view, but if you save $190, you can get the older generation Mito Pro 300, putting out the same amount of power as the new Adapt. It doesn't have the fancy remote or the nice control panel or the dimming functionality or the usage tracking or anything like that. But most people, including myself, have been using red light therapy without those functions for many, many years and been getting awesome results. So what I'm saying is you don't really need that stuff. And with nearly a $200 price difference, I don't know if it's worth spending all that money to get all those additional features. There is one big reason why you may decide to spend the extra money and go with the Adapt, and that's the 810 nanometer light. Remember that's in the Adapt. The Pro over here doesn't have 810, it has 830 instead. Over at alexfigus.com, we've actually taken a deep dive looking into 810 nanometer light, and it is quite amazing. But don't let me discredit 830, there's also benefits there as well. But if you've read that blog and you like what you see, and you're after some of the brain health benefits of 810 nanometer light, then yeah, maybe spend the extra money and get this one. If you're not too worried about that, you're going to get amazing results with this panel and for a lot cheaper. Remember for years, most panels were only using 660 and 850 nanometer light. Both of these panels have four wavelengths and the energy is split equally between each of those wavelengths. But I'm curious to hear what you think. If you have watched this and you've decided, you know, you wanna go with this one or the Pro, leave a comment below, I'm keen to check that out. But if price is the main factor for you, then be sure to check out how the Mito Pro 300 performed in this video. I compared the Mito Pro 300 with eight other tabletop panels to determine which one was the best from a budget point of view.